Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Caroline Mogure. Why property leader Kalonzo Msioka has asked the Speaker of the National Assembly to dissolve a parliament and he himself resigned as a way of standing with the people of Kenya and a way to save his legacy. He has asked Kenyans to start the process of recalling those who voted for the finance bill 2024. Our reporter Emmanuel Barasa reports. Waipa party leader Kalonzo Msioka has come out urging Kenyans to recall the members of parliament who betrayed their trust and voted for the finance bill 2024. He also urged the Speaker of the National Assembly to dissolve the parliament due to his poor leadership of the House. He stated that it was the only way for him to save his legacy as the Speaker of the National Assembly. He also urged the political parties to follow suit as a way of standing in solidarity with the people of Kenya and remove the members of parliament who voted for the finance bill from their leadership positions in the political parties. We set an example by taking disciplinary action against our members of parliament who voted, voted in favor of the repugnant anti-people finance bill 2024. We will remove them from their leadership positions in both the party and in parliament. We urge other Kenyan people-centric parliamentary parties to follow suit and recall all those representatives in the legislature and the executive who have failed you time and time again. Do you sincerely feel you should go and sit in that august house at a time like this? Or oh, is indeed the best thing to, for you to do? Parliament can perhaps even dissolve itself? I'm asking on Speaker Wetangula to dissolve Parliament himself, resign as a measure of solidarity with the Kenyan people. Perhaps he will save his legacy. Reporting for Tandao News Outlook at One, I am Emmanuel Barasa.